A street psychic, huh? Keep on your toes. This could get messy. I think I can handle a psychic. I am one after all. Just be careful is all I'm saying. Should psychics really advertise themselves like this? Maybe I've been going about this the wrong way. I can't see inside. It's a mailbox. It's the door buzzer. Looks like the only way in. Yes? Hi, is this Lisa Tenzin? That's me. Penelope Haynes gave me your address. I was hoping I could talk to you. Please, sit. So, what can I do to help? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. A pleasure. I'm Lisa Tenzin. You said Penny recommended me. Yes, I was hoping to talk to you. I am here to help. What exactly do you do here? I work with life energy mostly. Positive energy keeps your spirit alive and healthy, while negative energy blocks it. And that's important? Think of it like exercise for the soul. Just like maintaining a healthy body, you also need to maintain a healthy spirit. Healthy spirit, right. If I was healthy, I wouldn't be dead, would I? How does it work? Through meditation. That's something I can offer you. Me? Do you think I need it? I can tell that your spirit is weak and could use my services. What would cause that? In your case, I'd say it was a recent tragedy. Something happened to you recently, didn't it? Something that affected you deeply? My aunt died a few years ago. And you were close? I can tell. She kind of raised me. For a while, anyway. Say no more. Being confronted with death, any death, makes you confront your own mortality. If you aren't careful, it can generate negative energy that damages the spirit. You aren't buying this crap, are you? But if you like, I can help you get better. My spirit is weak. How? Something is blocking it. It can't function and flow like it normally would. So how can you help me get better? You're... I can meditate tonight on the problem. That way the best course of action will be revealed to me. If I asked you to do this for me, what then? It takes a great deal of spiritual energy to meditate on this kind of problem. I need to light a special candle in order to replenish it. So I will need to charge you $200 for the service. Then we can create an energy work plan. Huh. And you doubted her sincerity. I am going to have to think about this. Of course. There is no hurry. Could you tell me about Gavin? Penelope said you introduced her to him. Those sessions were supposed to be private. Even still, I would like to meet him. The spiritual process must not be rushed. Penny was ready and needed to take the next step. But you, you will need several months of sessions before you can even begin that journey. Thanks. It is not a judgment. It is what you are. Could you tell me why Penelope came to see you? I'm afraid not. Our sessions are private. Did a Jeremy Sams come to see you? I wouldn't tell you one way or the other. Like any healer, I believe in confidentiality. Jeremy is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. A death often brings us in contact with our own mortality. No, it's not that. There's no confidentiality if he's dead, right? There are other worlds than these, Miss Blackwell. Yeah, we know. Do you know anything about the High Line? I know nothing more than anybody else, I'm sure. Thanks for listening, Lisa. I'll get back to you about fixing my... problem. Of course. Have a good night. What did I tell you? A blocked aura. Do I really have a blocked aura? How would I know? For that matter, how would she? Because maybe she's a real psychic. I'm pretty sure they exist. I am living proof. I don't know anything about auras, sweetheart, but I know a phony when I see one. And that woman in there? A bona fide phony. So what am I then? Beats the hell out of me. Hmm. Jeremy 
Sands. Please leave a message. Just a trash can. God, that's disgusting. Is Jeremy's phone really under all that? Only one way to find out. You gonna help or what? Being dead means I don't have to pick through garbage. It's one of the perks. Right. Found it. Jeremy better appreciate this. Come on in! Oh! Hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. We've met Penelope. You found her? How's she doing? She's... interesting. Interesting's the word. I could only understand half of that crap she spouted. Yeah, she's a bit out there. She thinks she's found something meaningful. Has she? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. I met Lisa Tenzin. Lisa? That's right. Lisa. I almost forgot all about her. I only just met her. I met her through Penelope, like you. Crazy, isn't it? Who knew how big this was? That's why we need to break it wide open, you see? I don't. Come on, Rosa, you see them on every street corner. These phony psychics, these rip-off artists. They say they can see auras or even talk to the dead. Imagine that. But it's all a lie. Everyone knows that. Or do we? Why do people keep going to these places? There's something beyond this. Something incredible. I'm so close. Jeremy, I've got something to show you. But before I do, could I see your phone? What, this? Yes. Now take a look here. I don't get it. You've got the same phone as me? No, Jeremy. It's your phone. No, it's not. I've got mine right here. I called you, remember? I don't know how you did that, but that's not your phone. This is. You lost it outside of Lisa's. It was in the trash can. That's impossible. I called it. It rang. It's yours. I... No. No, this, this is a trick. Jeremy! No! Just when I'm getting close... You're trying to confuse me. You're trying to make me forget. Forget my appointment. Appointment? Yes, at the High Line. I'm meeting with someone who will explain everything. I'm going. Don't try and stop me. Looks like it leads to a back room. I don't think we need to do any more here. Jeremy? I was here. This is me. I was standing right there. Then I heard... a pop? And then, then I was calling you with a phone that couldn't exist. Somehow, I just knew you were the one who could help me. Like I said, it's what we do. Could you tell us who you were meeting here? I was meeting a man named Gavin. Lisa arranged it. I've heard stories. People change around him. They destroy their lives, sometimes even die. Die like I died. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I don't know why, but I feel good. Relieved, even. You'll find him, won't you? You can take over? We'll find him, Jeremy. This won't happen to anybody else. Thank you. I'm ready. Jeremy, it's time. This is incredible. All this time, I never imagined. This is your life now. This is my life now. Not quite the village eye, is it? Beats writing book reviews. Um, 
So I guess I should just... Yeah, the light. Just go through it? Just go through it. Well, he's gone. You okay? Sure. Nothing an entire bottle of wine won't fix. Well, you know what they say. Bacchus knows best. Locked. Hi, it's me again. Oh, hello. Do come in. Please, sit. Lisa, I found Jeremy's phone. It was outside, in the trash. It's a public street. So he was here? He might have been outside. I cannot say. I know you spoke to Jeremy, Lisa. Why are you lying to me? Lying? What makes you think that? Jeremy told me. Didn't you tell me he was dead? Whatever he told you, it's not true. I never spoke to anyone named Jeremy. I think this interview is at an end. It's very clear that I will be unable to help you. Your mind is closed off. You aren't seeking help. You only want to destroy. What? No, I, I only want to... Your very presence is damaging the aura of peace I spent years trying to create. I insist that you leave. And I also insist you give up this line of inquiry. Give up? That's not an option. Not for me. Nevertheless. My friend came to see you, and then he was killed. You can either help me, or you can get in my way. But one way or another, I'm gonna find out what happened. I'll be in touch. Smooth exit. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Not bad for a night's work? I guess. We still don't know how or why Jeremy was killed. That's not really our problem, is it? Maybe. It's just... kind of personal this time. Yeah, I get it. Look, you get some sleep. You might feel different tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. It's been a long night. Joey? Yeah? The old man at the nursing home. Who is he? Get some sleep, Red. Was revealed to be Jeremy Sams, a reporter at the City Post newspaper. No suspect is in custody yet. The police issued a statement to say that their investigations are continuing and advise everyone to avoid the High Line after dark. Hi. Lisa? Hello? Well, that was rude. It does the job of selling the joint, but does it have to be so loud and garish? I can't see inside. Just a mailbox. It does nothing for me. Wouldn't want to read him, even if I could. Wouldn't want to read... No idea who that is. Huh. <laughs> Classy. Huh. <laughs> Classy. Nothing on there but junk. What sort of person puts that kind of thing on a shelf? Cuckoo is certainly the word for the broad who lives here. None of them mean anything to me. She's staring at that photograph. 
Is that... Danny? Is that you? How the hell did Lisa get this? How the hell did... She knows him. That phony knows him. Knows who? Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> Remember that old guy in the nursing home? She's mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Hi again. Hello. Do you have a patient here named Danny Marconi? Yes, we do. Are you a relative? No, I'm just hoping to ask him some questions. Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but he passed away earlier this afternoon. I see. It was peaceful. He just went quietly in his sleep. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, good for him. What do we come here for anyway? Come on, let's blow. Um, sorry to bother you. So, do you want to talk about it? It's ancient history. There's nothing to say. Let's just get a move on. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Do you know a Danny Marconi? I know he died this afternoon. And? And I wanted to talk to you about him. Yesterday, you threatened me. Today, you want to talk about my grandfather. Wait, grandfather? He was your grandfather? Yes. If you didn't know that, why are you here asking about him? Grandfather? I can't believe it. Well? Um... We have a mutual friend. It's complicated. Uh-huh. I ask you again. How do you know my grandfather? A little help here. <sighs> Just tell her this. He had a shop on Grand Street. That... There are a million ways you could have known that. Um... <sighs> Fine. Tell her everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. What? Just say it. Everyone called him Danny Boy, and he hated it. Excuse me? He drank whiskey, straight, with no ice. He put salt on everything, and played the clarinet like he was born with it in his hand. He would have sold his soul to play at the supper club, and he was madly, madly in love with a singer named Linda. Madly in love with a singer named... Linda. Get in. Linda was my grandmother. She died before I was born. Thank heaven for small favors. Seeing you would have broken her heart. You're... for real, aren't you? You're one of... them? You tell me. No, I'm not falling for that. I've been nothing but loyal over the years. You have no reason to test me like this. Look at her, shaken like a leaf. Just because there was that bit of trouble with the reporter... You mean his murder. I am not responsible for that. Why now? If what I suspect is true, you people have looked the other way for years. Why the change of heart? Gavin has killed someone. I can't confirm that one way or the other, and neither can you. Look, I'm just a friend of Jeremy's. I want to know what happened, that's all. Whoever Gavin is, he needs to be stopped. I... want to believe you. Then what's the problem? Look, what if I tell you my suspicions and I'm wrong? You think I can just walk away? So what do you suggest? I'll give you the names of the last two clients I referred to Gavin. That's harmless enough. You look into them. You find anything. Maybe we can talk. Fine. Give them to me. Here. Thanks. I will get to the bottom of this. I hope so. But until you do, leave me out of it. Now get out. I've done all I can.
Is this what you lived for, Danny? Was it worth it? You were a good man, Danny. You deserved a better legacy than this. Well, maybe we both did. So it looks like we've got to track down these two names. Huh? Oh, sure. Who are they? We've got a Tiffany Walters. She lives on Thompson Street, just south of Washington Square. And the other? Jamie Graham. She's a student up at Columbia. Didn't you go to school there? Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs>